Hey, good afternoon, friends. Today is Sunday, August the 4th, 2024, and the time now is 4.08 p.m. So the Olympics continue, and Nigeria continues to make uh, history. Uh, today, the Nigerian women basketball team basically won uh, their game against Canada which means for the first time they are going to be going to the quarterfinal of the Olympics. That is a great deal for Nigeria. So when Nigeria won against Australia in its opening, that was actually the first time in about 20 years, okay? So the last time it happened, it was 2004. And not only that, they were able to defeat Australia. Yes, they went on to play in France and losing to France. Now they played Canada, beating Canada about 79 to 70 points. That was a great deal, okay? Uh, given that uh, the country uh, is currently going through a lot, and I'm talking about Nigeria. And yes, you have, like I said in the past, some of these uh, girls on the Nigerian team basically live abroad, okay? They played, they live abroad. Some of them were born abroad. And this is the case for Africa and also many other countries in the world. So once again, this is some of the things that I do believe that we as a society and young people and people in various countries need to talk about. Because we have situation where young men and women going out in foreign countries or even within their various countries and doing good things and politicians are getting the glory. And this is the case, as I've said earlier, where people like Tinubu, who many Nigerians now are basically poking fun of him, okay? Could go out there and basically claim credit for things that uh, these young girls, okay? The Nigerian women basketball team had done, okay? While he himself, Tinubu, has done nothing to support them. But Nigeria itself as a country is currently going through a lot because there are currently throughout Nigeria protests going on, okay, with the hashtag and bad government. And the people of Nigeria are tired, okay. They are protesting uh, the cost of living in the country. It is said that the price of gas had tripled since Tinubu took office and basically beginning to implement his so-called reform. Uh, Nigerians are basically complaining that they are having difficulty even buying food and taking care of their families and loved ones. And it is an interesting thing that recently we had a mass protest in Kenya and then from Kenya to countries such as Uganda. Now, in terms of Nigeria, another interesting uh, development here is when the protests were going on in Kenya many people and even myself were asking when will Nigeria follow suit because Nigeria is the giant of Africa in terms of population and in terms of economics okay or economy and there are many in Africa and even myself who do believe that Africa will change when Nigeria get itself together and this is why Many Africans welcome the protest in Nigeria currently with the hope that it doesn't spiral out of control because the stability of Africa, the development of Africa, and the prosperity of Africa means that there should be stability, development, and prosperity in Nigeria. As long as Nigeria gets itself together and is stable and it's prosperous, Africa is going to be the same. I do apologize for deviating, but in terms of uh, what I am supposed to be talking about, the victory of the Nigerian women basketball team over Canada is something that I do believe that many Nigerians should celebrate because it is the pride of a country. Things such as Olympics, you do not take it easily because it is part of uh, geopolitics as well. Your country gets recognition when it uh, performed in various ways on the international stage. 
And Nigeria is one such country that continues. As Julius Malema would say, while Africans compete among themselves, Nigeria competes against or with the rest of the world. And South Sudan is one country that has been doing so. And sadly, South Sudan lost to Serbia today. But once again, back to the Nigerian women basketball team. They have done spectacular job so far in the Olympics. They defeated Australia. Yes, they lost to uh, France about 75 to 54. And then they just defeated Canada today, 79 to 70. I hope they continue to do good, continue to make Nigeria proud and African proud. And looking at the way things unfold and the fact that they were defeated by France, France is a pretty good team. Perhaps that is basically going to harden them to continue to fight. Nigeria has a pretty good team, pretty good. And looking at the Nigerian women basketball team play, one can even conclude that they play better than the, the men. And the men basketball team, the Nigerian male basketball team is pretty good. But those women are just amazing. They shoot like crazy. They are good with shooting the ball and controlling the ball. And they are good with three points. Now I'm going to end here, friends. Please join the conversation. Please tell me what you think. Share your opinion. I want to thank you once again for becoming a member of the Echoing Voice community. And thank you again for watching the Echoing Voice. Peace.